Well, we are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. The enthusiasm for football here on the East Coast always in the air. These folks are ready as their guys get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Smith. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. First and 10. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Gibson, the ball carrier. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down. It's Gibson, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Antonio Gibson, the ball carrier. On any running play this call, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Smith on third down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Saints 7, Washington nothing. Will Lutz to kick so off. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Danny Johnson returning. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. First down, Gibson. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they run the option on second down. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. 
third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Shelby Let's just make this one succinct. On nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Six yards left on second down. They'll try the air now with Smith. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Who's trying to get it to Terry McLaurin. Third down here. He had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Yeah, absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Here's Smith. Catch is made. It's Harmon. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Washington. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy could be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. On first down, it's Smith. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Intended for J.D. McKissick. It leads to second and ten. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Smith. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Brings up third down and ten. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Again, Smith. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So on fourth down, Washington going to call on Tress Way to punt it away. Deontay Harris deep for New Orleans. The Saints take over. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. 20-yard line. Ready. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here. First and 10 at the 20. He'll throw from the gun. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. That's Thomas Davis on the sack. Came in the league way back in 2005. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But and he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Chase Young. He's the one that drops him this go around. Pass rush getting strong here. Back-to-back -back sacks. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze. And the Saints up against it here. Shotgun now for Breeze. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, 
And the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First down, it's Gibson. Not much room to run. Just gets it to the 35 after showcasing his tough running. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little, little bit of power, and we find a way to pick up first downs. They'll run on first down. Gibson, and he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Demario Davis there on the stop. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Second down and eight. A shotgun snap for Smith. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. From the gun, here's Smith. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a handoff here to his running back, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Harris returning. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, 
you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. To Alvin Kamara. Eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and two at the 46 yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now, Breeze again. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Smith. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. It's a 39-yard attempt right hash. And Lutz puts this one through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. Still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0 as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and crash. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? 
we just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll run. This is Kamara. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Now they'll throw with Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. 28, 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Breeze now on first down. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it and it will help him at contract time. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Defensively, celebration time, because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off he had to fight that time ran through one tackle but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage ladies and gentlemen that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position yes he's as big as they come but still plenty agile he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier camara trying again and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Breeze now on third and goal. The quick slant caught. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. Fourth down and goal. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Will Lutz on for the field goal. A 20-yard attempt. The kick by Lutz is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but they still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close.
Following the main field goal, lots to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now we get another look at Washington on offense. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working and call more of that. Seven yards to pick up there. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. Looking to throw again on second down. Smith over the middle. It's Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, Smith. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, looks like an extra step was involved. The penalty moves him into the red zone here on first and ten. Now a give, right side. It's Gibson, and he'll be pulled down as a penalty flag will rain in as well, and that would appear to be a face mask. So that one will be accepted. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Smith. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football got to be that way to go against. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Kelvin Harmon there to make the grab. And Washington able to make this a close game again. Well, it was third and one. I was expecting run so much for that. They pass it, they score it. That had the feel of the head coach telling the offensive coordinator, you've got four downs here. We're going to go for it on fourth down unless there's a disaster on third. Go ahead and take a shot if you want to. And he gratefully accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, that had to feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And that'll make it 13-7. Makes the score Saints 13. 
Washington 7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And we will not see a run back here from Harris. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. you got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Seven yards there and a first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the ground, this is Kamara. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Try to run down some clock with Kamara. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. Back to throw, Breeze. And he finds Cook. And he is going to have a Saints first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Take a knee. getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? 
I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Drew Brees with a kneel down, and that ought to do it. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zero. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Landover.